my business. All right, everybody, come to the center of your mat, seated. Inhale, reach your shoulders up towards your ears, slide your shoulder blade behind you, so reach them all the way down and then knit in your floating ribs, grow up taller through the crown of your head. Again, inhale, shoulders up towards ears, draw them behind you, knit in your ribs, find strength in your core, lift up, exhale, lower. One more time, inhale, shoulders up, find length, exhale, ground down. And then three times the opposite direction, slide your shoulder blades back, inhale, come up, exhale, go forward. Still find that length, again, inhale, around, back, up, forward, exhale. Final time. My long spine. Every inhale, grow taller and the more expansive as you exhale, ground down through your sit bones to the earth, to your mat. And invite a dedication to your practice this morning. Simply being aware is a perfectly perfectly valid dedication. Bring your hands into your heart center, thumbs towards sternum, bow your head to your heart. And then three times, breathe in this dedication and then release it. And then the final exhale, bring your chin up, take your hands down to your knees. We're going to take some seated cow and cat. We're going to move into some core work and get started into our physical bodies and more um, active awesome practice. Inhale, swim hard forward, lean forward. You might come up off your hips. Exhale, lean back. Really engage your core, pull your belly button towards your spine. Inhale, carry it forward. Exhale, back. How much space can you create in the back of your body here? Again, inhale, take it forward. A lot of times these can be really simple and luxurious. See if you can make this a little bit more physically strong. One more time like that. And then we're going to move into a goddess boat. So reach your arms out, interlace your fingertips, lean back, lift up your feet so that your toes together, your knees are wide apart. This is gonna um, feed into some poses we're gonna be doing later. So drop your feet, reach your heart forward, inhale, get low, feel that stretch, exhale, lift up in that straight spine, lean back, point up towards your toes. Again, inhale, take it forward. So you can keep your feet touching each other the whole time, exhale. <laughs> inhale, carry it forward again. Exhale, up and back. One more time like that, you're gonna keep your feet lifted. We're gonna move into another core variation. Hands to the backs of your knees, bring them together so that you're in a boat pose. You're going to take a half boat, Ardhanavasana, lean back, then interlace your fingers once again, index. Breathe in here. On an exhale, pull your knees to left, reach out toward the right. Inhale back. Exhale, knees to right, reach toward left. Inhale back. Arms to right. Inhale back. Arms to left. Once more, either side. All right, then come back to your boat pose. You can have your uh, knees bent if you would like, or you can have extended legs. Arms not touching your legs if possible. Otherwise, just take your hands in. Make sure that you're still finding some space through your collarbones. Simply breathe. And then take your hands to the backs of your thighs, rock onto your back, keeping your knees bent at that 90 degree angle. Take your arms out to the side simply for balance. Flex your toes, reach your knees over to the right. You might feel a deep oblique stretch here. Try to take the energy out of your arms. Exhale, take up. Inhale to the left. Exhale, knees straight up again. Inhale to the right. Exhale up. Try to take it to the end of your arms. To the left. Back to center. Extend both your legs. Point, point your feet. Find some kind of activity. If you're like me, you need to clip away from the wall. <laughs> Same thing, but you're going to drop your legs to the right. Both legs straight. You'll come over onto your right hip. Inhale. Exhale, come up. Inhale to the left. Exhale, come up. Inhale to right. Exhale, come up. To left. Come up. Once more either side, your inhales bring you up. Exhales bring you to center. To left. To right. Awesome. Pull your knees to your chest. Arm hands to the backs of your thighs. Wrap up and down the length of your spine. You're going to come all the way to a forward fold, the top of the mat, maybe in one movement. Maybe you need to use your hands to come up. 
All right, so first we're gonna take some really powerful forward folds here. So bend your knees a bit, shrug your shoulders onto your back, fingertips are pressed into the mat, or you can take hands to shins if that's working best for you. On an inhale, lift up halfway, low belly in like we did earlier, fingertips resist against whatever they're touching, look forward, exhale, chest to thighs, reach your feet away from each other. Again, inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Final time like that, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Take your hands to your hips, elbows toward the ceiling, roll your shoulder blades onto your back, inhale, come up all the way to standing, exhale, bring your arms alongside you. On an inhale, reach arms out and up, gaze up. Exhale, hinge at hips, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, offer your heart. Exhale, fold to honor yourself, step back to the top of your plank pose. On an exhale, lower to chaturanga, elbows raising your ribcage. Untuck toes or roll over toes, upward facing dog. Exhale, roll back over toes or flip toes, downward facing dog. Spread your fingertips wide. Reach your inner thighs back. Make sure that your head is loose. So soft neck. Bend your knees, look towards the top of your mat. On an exhale, step or hop to the top, forward fold, halfway lift, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold, use the space you've created. Reverse swan dive, press through your feet, reach arms out and up. Exhale, hands at your heart center. Arms alongside your body. Toes together, heels slightly apart, we're gonna take sun cell B. Inhale, sit low, arms lift, Utkatasana. Exhale, fold. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fold, make your way back to your high plank. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows graze rib cage. Untuck toes, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. Angle your left foot, step your right foot forward, Inhale, warrior one, sit low, arms lift. Your next exhale, hands come down, step back to high plank, exhale, lower through chaturanga, untuck toes, inhale, back bend, exhale, downward facing dog. Angle your right foot in, step your left forward, press through feet, inhale, warrior one, sit low. Then one full exhale. Take it all the way down, step your left foot back, lower through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, fold back to your downward facing dog. Find lots and lots of space. Find your breath moving to all corners of your lungs. Soften your jaw, what is not a part of this pose. And then when you're ready, inhale, bend knees, look forward, exhale, travel to the top of your mat, halfway lift, exhale, fold, toes together, just slightly apart, sit low, Utkatasana, arms lift, exhale, come up to standing, hands to heart, arms alongside, put your body, and breathe. Once again, inhale, arms lift, exhale, forward fold, take up lots of space. Inhale, half lift, look forward. Exhale, fold, vinyasa, make your way back to down dog. Option to skip a vinyasa. Long deep breaths, wrap your inner elbows forward. Find lots of purchase on your mat with your hands and every part of your foot that is touching the mat. On your next inhale, lift to your toes, roll to the top of a plank pose. We're gonna to move to a pointed plank. So flip to the tops of your feet. Keep pressing through all fingernails of your toes. I guess those are called toenails, huh? <laughs> and then you're going to wrap your inner elbows forward, drop your hips down and reach your heart forward, upward facing dog. Keep pressing through the tops of your feet and your palms. And then keeping that, on an exhale, keeping your toes as they are, lift your hips up. Pointed down dog, then flip to regular down dog. Breathe. Remember which foot you flipped with first. Inhale, come to toes, come to the top of a plank pose. Hook to pointed plank. Drop your hips, reach for an upward facing dog, press through hands, frog collar. On your exhale, toes as they are, lift your hips up. Remember which foot you flipped with first, flip with the other one. 
back to downward facing dog. Two more times like that with breath, inhale, carry it forward. Pointed plank, upward dog, two breaths. Pointed down dog, flip to down dog. Next inhale, rise to toes, come to top of plank. Pointed plank, upward facing dog, two breaths. Exhale, lift hips up and back, pointed dog. Point, a regular downward facing dog and breathe. We're gonna take a couple, um, kind of like a modified vinyasa here. So think of it as like a yoga push up. On an inhale, come to the top of your plank pose. Exhale, lower to chaturanga. Press back up the plank, up and back downward facing dog. Again, inhale, top of plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Up and back, downward facing dog. Twice more, your breath. Plank, chaturanga, plank, down dog, plank, chaturanga, plank, down dog, and breathe. <laughs> Inhale, bend knees, look towards the top of the mat, and then hop to a seat in the middle of your mat. Oh, y'all, it is hot in Texas already. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a forward fold, um, but we're gonna take it a little bit differently. We're gonna start with a connection of chest to thighs rather than like extending and then bending forward. It might end up being a similar experience for you. So, have your knees bent, your toes pointed up, knees pointed up. You're going to reach your hands for your feet. This is gonna bring your chest in towards your thighs. Shrug your shoulders back. We were doing those upward facing dogs. Find that space still here. And then you're gonna to start to scooch your heels away from you while maintaining that connection of chest to thighs. Keep your toes flexed. You're making this a different kind of a stretch with the flexed toes. So this early in the morning, if I'm maintaining my closest connection here, I might not get my legs totally straight as straight as they might be otherwise. Continue to reach your shoulder blades away from you so that your shoulders aren't crunching up near your ears. Look towards your shins. Reach your heart forward. Find open collarbones. It's an intense forward stretch. It's actually with the stretch the same doctor. Continue to breathe. Press through your heels. What do you feel? So find out what you're feeling physically and then just take a note of what that does to your thought patterns. Maybe change, maybe not. All right, release the pose, come up. Awesome. We're gonna take a Bhattakonasana posture. This is also going to build into a pose that we're gonna be doing later. So come back to knees bent, wiggle your uh, feet toward each other and then take your uh, knees wide. Lift up your hips, scooch your hips forward to closer to your feet. Take your hands to your feet, and then you're going to actively work with the muscles of your legs. Your knees are working down. Reach your chest forward. Again, find that posture where you've got space through your, uh, your collarbones. Knit in your floating ribs still, so you've got core activity, and start to reach your chest down. So find that Tadasana through your torso, even as you're coming through your Vadakanasana pose. Remember to press your knees and thighs down toward the mat. Imagine your thighs are even working back. Three more breaths. All right, inhale to lift up. Scoot your hips right back. Give yourself lots of space. You can bring your knees back toward each other. Come back to the boat pose, arms alongside your body. Then you're going to lower down to Ardha Navasana, half boat. Stay right here, look toward your toes. Your shoulders are lifted, your heels are lifted. Find a little bit of activity to your toes, something going on. Helps with the lift. And then pull your knees to your chest as you rock onto your back. Take your hands to the backs of your knees. You're going to rock up and down the length of your spine. Once again, you're gonna make it all the way to a forward fold at the top of your mat, maybe without hands, maybe with. Yes. <laughs> All 
All right. On an inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. Step back to down dog if you need a vinyasa, then go ahead and take it. On an inhale, right leg lifts up and back, long straight, strong tripod dog. On an exhale, pull your knee to your nose and place your foot between your hands towards your right thumb. More weight to left palm, peel your right fingertips up toward the ceiling for a low lunge twist. Keep your right hip pulling back. And as you do this, scissor your thighs together. So your right heel is pulling towards your left foot and left foot is pulling toward you. You should feel activation through your midline here. Take your right hand back down to the mat. Flip to the top of your left foot. It might take a little bit of finagling to get there. All right. So kind of like pointed plank. Press through both feet, lift up, high lunge. Exhale, sweep your arms back. Palms are facing to the mat, lean forward. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, sweep it all the way back. Find that scissor in your thighs, you're gonna notice it here. Inhale up. Find your balance. Exhale, take it down. Hands to the mat. Take it back to the top of your foot once again. Stand your left foot to your right, top of mat, forward fold. Wiggle it out if you need. Maybe some muscles use in a different way than you typically do. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Press through your feet and reach your arms out and up. Keep your arms lifted. Drop your shoulders, wrap your pinkies toward each other, and start to sit low to a chair pose with the Utkatasana. Lift your heels away from your mat. Inhale here, similar movement to what we just did. Exhale, drinking bird. Arms come back, palms are down, lean forward. Maybe your chest is parallel. Inhale, back up to drinking bird. I mean, chair with heels lifted. Exhale, drinking bird. One more time like that. Inhale, takes you up. Exhale, brings you back. Drop your heels, drop your hands. Take your piece fingers to your right big toe. Left hand to left hip, shift the weight over to your left foot, lift your right foot up. So you come to standing, find your balance here, and then we're going to destroy it. <laughs> Extend your right leg in front of you, drop your right hip, and then if and when you like, bring your right leg out to the right. Think of what we were doing, some of those activations when we did our Baddha Kandasana, same but different. Option to turn your gaze to the left. Keeping that grip. Gaze back to front, leg to front, bend both knees to stand your right foot down, forward fold. Really nice. Step your left foot all the way to the back of your mat so you're get back to a low lunge. Sit here. Find the activation between your legs. Find the strongest low lunge you've got. Reach your heart forward. Square hips. Pressing through everything that is touching your mat. And then step back to top of plank pose. Then you also back to downward facing dog if you would like it. Long deep breaths. Inhale, left leg up and back, tripod dog. On an exhale, lift up to your right toes, pull your left knee in towards your chest, place your foot between your hands towards your left thumb for this low lunge. Weight to right palm, left fingertips are up. Low lunge, twist. Again, notice if your left hip is starting to like swing out to the side, draw it back, scissor your thighs together. And then exhale, place your left hand down to the mat. Once again, a little finagling might be necessary here. We're gonna flip to the top of the right foot. Okay? <laughs> so this is where the scissoring comes in mind, or comes in handy rather. Press through both of your feet. Inhale, arms lift up. Keep squaring your hips. On an exhale, reach forward. With your uh, chest, your arms reach back, palms down. Inhale, right back up. Exhale, swing your arms back. Inhale, lift up. Swing your arms back. And then take your hands back down to the mat for security. Come to the top of your foot once again. Move safely, do what you need to do. Look forward, step your right foot forward to top of mat once again. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Okay. Right hand to right hip. Left these fingers to left big toe. Oh, wait, no, we just took that apart. We're not going to forget this. <laughs> Release that. Take your hands back down to the mat. When you're ready, reach your arms out and up. 
Keep your palms lifted. Every loves a good katasana. Sit your hips low. Awesome. Then lift up your heels. Three times as you're ready, we're going to move to drinking bird. Your exhales carry you forward. Heels lifted best you can. And then after that third time, then you drop your heels and your hands. Right hand to right hip, left face fingers. We're gonna try this again to left big toe. Shift the weight to the right. Look forward, engage your core. This is going to help you if your torso is already in your Tadasana pose. And then press through the right foot to come up to standing. Awesome. As you're ready, extend left leg out in front of you. It comes straighter, it doesn't. And then bring your knee or the entire leg over to the left. Send your gaze to the right. Send your gaze back to front, leg to front, or knee to front. Keeping the bind that you have chosen, bend both knees, step left foot down, and then release your toe. Inhale, half lift, Adho Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Step back to Palakasana. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, uh, Urdhva Mukha Shanasana. <laughs> Exhale, Adho Mukha Shanasana. Inhale, one. Exhale. Inhale, two. Exhale. Bend your knees, look towards the top of your mat, and then hop to a seat in the middle of your mat once again. Okay, so. Once again, we're going to take a uh, Badakanasana pose. We've done a couple different things, so we're going to revisit it. Feet together, knees wide. Intensify the posture as you would like by scooching in. Hands to your feet. Knees are reaching down toward the mat. Look forward. Put your low belly in, shoulder blades on your back. On your exhale, so you find movement, you hinge forward. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to deepen. Find that activity. Every inhale and exhale has a corresponding movement, small as it may be. All right, lift right back up. Stay the command of this pose. Hands behind you, scooch up your uh, bum, sit it back. Bring your knees toward each other. Boat pose. Ardha half boat pose, look towards your toes. And then just roll over your hands and knees till you come to a tabletop pose. We're going to move through a few cow and cat here. Move is what feels best for you. So if you need to be swinging um, from side to side, if that feels like you're getting released there, or if you prefer more moving your sagittal plane, just front and back. All right. And then when you're ready, tuck your toes, reach your hips way, way, way far back. Arms reach up super far, wrap your inner elbows up, fingertips spread wide, start to unfold, downward facing dog. On your next inhale, right leg lifts up and back, tripod dog. On an exhale, lift up onto your left toes, pull your right knee to your chest, place your right foot between your hands. Angle left foot down, find warrior two in your lower body first, hover your hands away from the mat. Yeah, <laughs> and then unravel, come to your warrior two. So, shrug shoulders back. Sit deeply into the front leg. Adjust as you need. You might have gotten a little more flexible than you're used to. And then we're going to take a triangle pose. So straighten the front leg. This helps pull your hips to the left. Reach forward, right hand comes down. You can keep your left hand down or fully unfurl. Press to the outer edge of your left foot. And breathe here. Look towards your right foot, and we're going to move into a side angle pose. So bend into your right knee. If you need to take your forearm to the top of your thigh, please do that. Okay. Option here. If you want to take the extended version, bring your left arm out in front of your face, palm down, and then swing towards the front, 
So your left bicep is over your left ear. Pinky is facing down. Notice if your ribs are splaying out, nip them in. On your next exhale, look towards the front foot. Step your left foot down, pivot onto the ball of your left, and then place your right hand to the outside of your foot so you're back to a low lunge posture. Simply breathe. Step your left foot in slightly. We're gonna move to a pyramid pose, so maybe a quarter of the way. So your left foot is pointed out to the side, probably like 45 degrees. Your right foot is going, the right leg is gonna to start to straighten. Inhale, lift halfway up, right hip starts to pull back. Look forward, exhale, bring your chin towards your shin. Inhale, lift halfway up, flex your toes towards your face. Everything else stays the same. Reach your chin towards your shin. Keep your right hip drawing back. Keep pressing to the outside of your left foot. And then drop your foot back down toward the mat. Bend into the right knee, pivot onto the back toes. Step your left foot forward, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, bring your chest to your thighs. Hands to hips, elbows point up. Roll your shoulder blades onto your back, come up to standing. We're gonna move to a tree pose here. Shift the weight to your left foot. Come onto the ball of your right foot or onto your toes. Bring your right knee out to the side. And then come to your variation of tree with foot kickstand, calf up towards your thigh. Or if you'd even like to do a um, half lotus, which I will not leave during this class, but I'm certain that we will. Hands to heart, once you're ready. And then a different arm variation as you choose. Start to take your hands back to heart center if you've taken a different variation. Take your right knee back to the front of the room, stand down. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach arms out and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, make it back to downward facing dog, vinyasa, if you would like to take it. From your downward facing dog, inhale, left leg up and back, rise to your toes, bring your left knee to your chest, place your foot between your hands toward left thumb. Angle right foot, find warrior two in your lower body first. Hover your fingertips away from the mat and then unravel, find warrior two. If you notice that you're starting to like surf your torso towards your left knee, simply bring it back. Find as much energy reaching behind you as reaching forward. Straighten the front leg. Let that energy continue to reach your hips back. Lock it in. Reach your left hand forward. Left hand drops as we move to triangle pose. Right shoulder stacks on top of left. Left rib cage wrapping upward. Option to lift up your right fingertips toward the ceiling. Press through both feet. Find more length. Then look down to your left toes. We're gonna to move to that side angle, potentially an extended side angle. Bend into the left knee. Again, if you need, left forearm comes up or you take a walk. Find out what's feeling here, what is going on. And then if you wanna take that extension, first bring your right arm out forward, palm down, and then sweep the arm around, pinky down, bicep closer to your right ear, Continue to sit low. Press your left knee into your right arm, right arm into left knee. Press the outer edge of right foot. Breathe. Then look down towards your left foot again. Take your right hand down. Pivot onto your right foot. So that you've, uh, on your toes rather. Left hand to the outside, you're back to this low lunge. Breathe it in. And then stand forward, forward fold. Halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Hands to hips, elbows point up, lower your shoulder blades onto your back. Inhale, come up to standing. All right, and we're gonna take our tree pose, Vikshasana, on this side. 
So more weight to your right foot. Left knee comes out, pointed out, bring your left knee out to the side, so you're um, externally rotating, and then take your variation. Once you've found your solid space, hands to heart, and then an arm variation of your choice. Keep pressing foot into leg, leg into foot. And start to bring your hands back to heart center. If you've taken another variation, I'll come out of this pose. Left knee comes to the front. Stand down. Find your Tadasana or Samasiti. Hands at heart center. On an inhale, reach arms out and up, gaze up. Exhale, hinge at your hips all the way forward. Inhale, halfway lift and offer your heart. Exhale, fold. Vinyasa, if you want it, we'll meet back in downward facing dog. Bend your knees, look towards the top of your mat, not an exhale, you're going to hop to the center of your mat and sit there. Okay, so we're gonna come to the Bhagavad once again. Soles of feet together, knees are wide. So we're gonna do something slightly different here. So find that same strength, find that same lift before you would hinge over. This time, take your peace fingers and your thumb to wrap around your big toes. <laughs> You're going to lean back. You're going to start to lift up. Bring your knees to the inside, outsides of your elbows. So you're kind of in this like a bound boat. And then start to press your heels out and up. Find your balance. And then if you'd like, bring legs out to the side. So you might be feeling a lot of your different poses being put together in a different configuration here. Still find your chest lifted up. Strong core. Breathe. Keeping the bind, bring your legs back toward each other. Keeping the bind, bend both knees, come back to your Bhattakanasana pose, lean forward. Lift yourself back up, lift up your hips, scooch it back. Take your hands to the backs of your knees, bring your knees together, come back to boat pose, arms alongside your body, palms up. And then on an inhale, start to lower to Ardha Navasana, half boat, look toward your toes, exhale, pull in. Inhale, Ardha. Exhale, pull in. Inhale, Ardha Navasana. Exhale, Navasana. Twice more. And then take your hands to the backs of your thighs, drop your feet to the mat. Roll all the way onto your back. Pull your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little bit of a squeeze, a little bit of relief. Then drop both feet to the mat so your knees are pointed up. Cross your right ankle over left thigh. Figure four pose. Pull your left thigh in close to you. Flexing through your right foot. Right knee moves away from you. Release the thigh, drop your foot, uncross your right leg, and then cross the left ankle over right thigh, figure four. Maybe you can remember to cross your fingertips the opposite way. And then release the thigh, uncross, take your feet down. Bridge pose. You might need to wiggle your heels in a little bit closer towards you. Be sure to slide your shoulder blades onto your back. If you prefer to take an Urdhva down your asana and you feel comfortable doing that at home, then I invite you to take that. I'll be guiding through the bridge pose. 
Press your feet and tops of hands. Inhale, roll your hips up. Find some engagement through your bum just a bit. Find lots of engagement through your core. So then slide under your shoulders, under your body, interlace your fingertips, press your pinkies down, press through your feet, shins, I'm sorry, calves, no, these are your thighs, <laughs> parallel to each other. <laughs> press through your upper arms, chin is up. Find lots of length through the tops of your thighs. Soften your cheeks of your face. <laughs> Just breathe. Continue to lift up, breathe. And then start to unwind if you're in your urdva, then come out the safest way possible. If you're with bridge with me, unclasp your hands, come back onto your shoulders, lift up your heels, wave your spine down, and then step your feet a little further away from you and then step your feet further away from each other. Drop both knees over to the right. Drop both knees over to the left. Take your knees back up to center and then prepare yourself for the final pose of this class, which is Shavasana. If there's any other poses that you need to make this practice complete, then please take them. Make any final adjustments that you'd like to your clothing, to your environment. Then notice how the soles of your feet become soft, your calves soft once again, your kneecaps have dropped, your thighs are heavy, your belly releases. chest is bright, shoulder blades drop back toward the earth, tops of your shoulders drop back as well. Your arms a little further away from your torso. See if there's any tension that you can remove. Notice if you're holding on to something. Allow yourself to soften. Give yourself that space, give yourself permission. Space between your top and bottom jaw, release your tongue from the roof of your mouth, close, heavy eyelids, smooth forehead. Explore a fuller and deeper breath. And then explore moving through your fingertips, finding new movement. And then as you're ready, let that movement grow larger, eventually roll over onto your right side. Pause for just a moment or two. 
and then make your way to a seated posture for a very brief reflection. On an inhale, reach your arms out and up, palms press above your head. And on an exhale, take your thumbs to the space between your eyebrows for clarity of thought, to your lips for clarity of speech, and then to your heart for clarity of action. Bow your head to your heart. Honor yourself and this practice and the yogis that are part of this community. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. In the name of the highest good, namaste. Thank you guys so much. I'm unmuting. Thanks, Courtney. The um, tops of your feet there.